it must be very difficult to bring out an ex-president from the United States. So what does it involve? Oh, Secret Service galore. I remember the first time I brought President Clinton, I got a phone call from the Attorney General's office and I had to come to a meeting. And I walk into this meeting, I was late because I'm often late. And I walk in and there's like 20 people in the room. I said, what are all these people here? So well, I'm from the Attorney General's office, there's my assistant. and. This is the police. Police? Said, yeah, this is the, for, your, for, for the motorcade. Motorcade? Everywhere you go, you'll have a motorcade, Mr. Markson. He said, and these people? Oh, this is the terror threat assessment people from the police. This is the local police. Uh, and who are these five guys? Oh, they're from the US Secret Service. I said, but the event stopped for 10 days. They're already in the country checking everything out. And then when you do something with a, a Tony Blair or President Clinton or President Bush Senior, you literally, during the week before, go and walk every step that they're going to make. We, we might go to this restaurant, so we've got to go there. We might do this. We might. What are the entries? Where's the hospital? Where's the venue? Where's the hotel? Like, and, and the Secret Service are fantastic because they have somebody set at the hospital, someone at the venue, someone at the hotel, and they have teams. They rotate teams. At one stage in 2002, I had 60 Secret Service agents in the country, and, and we were hopping from, country, from city to city doing a five-city tour. It's just, you know, but they are very, they say, where do you want, where are you going to go? And they don't put any controls on you. So we're going to do this, this and this. They make it happen for you.